Women deserve to have a supportive network of like-minded women who empower, discover, and embrace her true divinity. We believe when women feel safe, loved, accepted, they feel empowered to achieve their goals and highest values. And this is what we bring to you through our organization. So welcome everyone to Crystal Within. We are very, very happy to start a new season, an episode and preparation time with you to get the excitement going and especially come into connection with you where we can already now create a community-like feeling and already now can feel we are supporting each other, we're here for you, we are listening to you, we want to hear your stories, we want to hear what you're challenged about, and we want to respond to that and respond to that call. And so you all gave very bravely and courageously um, one challenge that you are facing currently in your life. We have gone over all of them, and in the next weeks, we would like to address every one of that challenges that you um that you spoke out to us that you that you mentioned so based on your answers we saw some common topics and the number one common topic and needs to be addressed was the communication between a parent and a child and the relationship between parent and child you expressed that this is very important to you and since um a lot of people express that we wanted to, in the first week, start us with that topic. You are very lucky that we have an expert for over decades on that topic, which is our wonderful Hilda Weeman. She's a family coach for, I think, three or four decades already. She has so much experience, and she will give you a little taste today of a huge adventure that is waiting for you with lots of hopes, lots of tips and um, so much more. And to, today we're only gonna address one little point about these topics. So Hilda, welcome. It's so happy that you're here today. Oh, I'm happy and I am just so grateful that some of the women were courageous enough to write out these questions. You know, it's not so easy to say something to the public and to know that, oh, this is going to be addressed. You know, who knows how many people are listening to this or they discover that it's me who mm -hmm. wrote the question. But this is uh, wonderful. So thank you. Yes, this is the area of parenting is my passion. I've done it for 30 years and parents call me and want uh, help with reaching out or that the child would get therapy. And of course, I help parents to first calm down and say, well, study what's going on and try other things because most kids aren't able to go to therapy, don't want to go, and parents are hopeless and then often don't do anything. But what I want to suggest is to find ways to reach out. First of all, you know, if there was, if there's a bad communication, no communication or like they said, estrangement, then we need to think about, well, how can I reach the child? What has been going on so far? When did this happen? When did the disconnect start? And what have I done about it? And how has my child taken it? So these are all very good questions for parents or for mothers here, just meditate on that. You know, take a deep breath, it is what it is, wherever the relationship is at. Uh, the first thing is to drop the fear, the worry, and change your personal vibration to the whole topic and see that there is hope. There's definitely hope. Something is coming. We're going to invite you to our circle for that reason. We want to spread our news. We want to, or the experiences we have, we want to share things with you. And as a team, you will also hear from other women, you know, you will feel more belonging. So what to do about estrangement? We can study about our child. What is his or her love language? What is it that makes them happy? 
Who are they? What is it that irritates them and makes them angry? And sometimes it's just a little comment from us, a certain movement that they have experienced all their lives. And that is the very trigger that throws them into shutting down. That they slam the door, go to the room and feel like, oh, that's all the same all over again. So um, a tool is start sending texts or putting writing cards, putting notes on the table, or maybe if they lock the door, maybe have those cases, slide it under the door, a message. And the message could say um, something like, I wish things would be better or better for you. And I'm sorry. I notice it or I'm open, love mom. If you need somebody to talk to, I will try to respond differently, mom. You know, anything short and just a stimulation. If you think you have tried it, yeah, maybe you have tried it and it didn't work because things don't work the first time around. It takes time. Mm -hmm. So try it again, again, a little different, find something that they love, you buy them, leave a gift, uh, you know, just, think about what would your child need to be stimulated and realize aha, uh -huh, my mom is making an effort or it could be the dad you know that you help your husband my parents are making an effort eventually you can also try other things and um invite them i mean that's one thing people always think oh we got to talk about the problem <laughs> mm -hmm. that's not the first thing kids want because they say, ah, you know, I'm not enough. It's always the same thing. Find a love language and do something that you can do with them. If it's going to a movie or to a game, sports maybe, travel, um, climb a mountain, you know, <laughs> things like this that would excite the child and also surprise. Really? You noticed that or you know me enough that you know about that? You are willing to spend time or money with me and so on. I remember a father telling the story that, you know, the busiest time or oh, as a minister, the busiest time as a minister um, before Christmas. And he actually dropped everything, passed it on to other people in his congregation. And he took the son for a trip somewhere on the ocean. He wanted to do that. And that was... Um, most that was showing the sun I see I am becoming number one it's not the congregation it's not the sermon it's not religion I am becoming number one and you can be sure he tested him on the trip <laughs> if that's true mm -hmm. and they did nothing than walking along the water and eventually after days and hours the son said, what's that all about? <laughs> because the whole time he didn't say a word and then asked. So these are the things you got to invest mm -hmm. in order to create breakthroughs. This is great, Hilda. I think uh, it's very encouraging because it's small steps. So you said we should reflect first about the situation of what happened, right? When did it all start? When did we disconnect and how did it happen? And then study the child of their likes and then knocking on the door, slowly giving little notes, just showing them, I see what's going on and I'm sorry about that. And then making some small baby steps and going into their life, showing interest about their likes going out on trips trips with them spending money and time i think time is even the most um need what children want they want our attention right they want to see as you shared in that story my mom loves me and i am important to her she's spending the time she takes the time during all the business schedule but she does take the time even just to listen to me so these are really some great tips um how to start because i think 
I mean, I just have a little baby, but thinking of my parents and children, so I'm a basically, I'm a very young mom, I don't have adult children, but thinking about how uh, after many, many years of disconnection, okay, my, the relationship with my dad is, is not very healthy, and after so many years of disconnection, probably the most scariest part for the parent is how do I start after so many years of not really talking, of not really connecting? And I really like what you said of, uh, you know, just knocking on the doors with the little notes and the, the small steps, because it's not too overwhelming, not too much interrogating for the child or for the parent, and it's manageable. And don't give up. I love the part how hard it must be for the parent after a long detachment and estrangement yeah. to begin the relationship. And, you know, the parent is fearful, not knowing, yes. oh, what well, this doesn't yes. turn out again. That's why we probably constantly postpone it. Exactly. So, mm -hmm. um, and you said, you know, time and listen, spending time and having good listening skills is so very important. But of course, that only comes when the child agrees to something. So first we need to catch them, <laughs> we get them exactly. to a place where we can spend the time with them and where we could have a conversation. So what is exciting is that we will be together in a group and we can listen to each other and find our own story. That is the step ahead. Before we are able to listen well or respond well to our children, we need to be listened to and identify things within our story. Mm -hmm. You know, if girlfriends listen, what we were going through, then they sometimes give a certain response, give feedback, and it clicks. Or we even, by listening to ourselves, we have an aha moment. And this is what the group can provide and then insight into that aha moment. Mm -hmm. uh, why was I so afraid of? Why do I worry about certain things? You know, in my case, my children say, mom, why do you worry about that? You know, this or that. Then I go back inside and say, wow, I guess it's not even an issue for my child. My child isn't worried about money or about uh, being on time or well, being on time is good, but <laughs> certain things is not worried about while I have it in me because that's still coming from my upbringing. Mm -hmm. So you think that, so this is what we want to discover and we will, we will discover these things mm -hmm. in our work together and clear these vibrations. Exactly. I mean, that's your specialty. I know, Diana, mm -hmm. you know, you're good in uh, personal, in self-care, self-awareness, uh, energy work and all these things. So one good thing I think here is also that Mm, everybody who's participating will experience different input and energies yeah. because we come, we somehow have similar interests and we come from a different background. Exactly. I just wanted to add um, something that you can look forward also, especially from Hilda, which is when parents, when you as a parent, you do take the first step of starting the baby steps you probably might be scared and in going into the next step when you will have that connection, you will have that conversation with your child, then you will feel overwhelmed of how do I actually now have the conversation without judging them, without, without attacking them or without feeling all kinds of roller coaster emotion inside of yourself. And I want to just give you uh, um, something to look forward, which is you will learn about also safe conversations which will teach you how to have a healthy communication where your child will feel understood, seen, and heard, where you learn empathic listening. And that is the foundation of anything. And um, that will be also something we'll address. So look forward to that and don't feel like, oh God, you know, what's my next step and how do I move forward? It will come. And then I think uh, next week is something else to look forward to. When Hilda said we need to work on our own vibrations, which is a very important factor, because often we just react versus then respond in alignment with our own values, and we always feel bad about it afterwards. Um, we need to really get ourselves back together in the right here, right now, 
um, and work on us and release our own pain before we respond to our environment. And that will be something that we will address next week, which is all about finding your own peace and creating peace inside of you, um, which will leave you hopefully feeling wonderful. So you can even listen better to your child and work on the relationship in a more productive way. So look forward to that. So Hilda, any last words from you? Well, I just find it fascinating that we can do that to feed yeah. somehow that connection, you know, for 12 weeks, make everybody feel comfortable and give insight what's coming. And hopefully with great confidence that all of you can join the program for in January then being so well prepared already knowing how to sit still and <laughs> listen to yourself, journal a little bit bring you know put down notes and things like this so and i want to mention to everybody look again in your email there are questions for you so if you want to you can start your personal work we want to hear if what you heard today about that topic was helpful for you and if you feel we addressed the point that uh, was your need and if we didn't then reach out to us send us an email um, and you clarify that point or another point comes up to you, another challenge where you feel this is really pressing, then just reach out to us and um, we will address that in the 12 weeks. It's very exciting with 12 weeks to get ready and to end that year well and to start off even better next year in January. And we want to prepare ourselves, get in the spirit, get connected and give us hope to really kick off that next year. Awesome. We love you and we love to hear your story. Thank you so much for listening and see you next week. Thank you, everybody. See you next week.